So today we're going to take a look at a type of nuclear radiation. This is actually the biggest particle that's given off during nuclear radiation. Um, there are three main sorts of radiation given off, the alpha particles, the beta particles and the gamma rays. So for each one we're going to have eight facts. The first one we look at is the the form of alpha particles and these are actually a particle to start with and they consist of two neutrons and two protons so we can show this like this we can have two protons and we have two neutrons and this is what we call an alpha particle the symbol for the alpha particle. If you notice it's got two neutrons and two protons which actually means it's uh, the element is helium and so if you've got two neutrons and two protons the atomic mass would be four and the atomic number is two. Two protons and an atomic mass of four. This would be written like this helium and a hyphen four. We then have the charge on the alpha particle and this has a charge, it's got two protons, notice there are no electrons around there so it must have a charge of two plus. The mass of an alpha particle this is uh, very high. You could say it's high mass compared to the other nuclear radiation particle compared to beta particles. Uh, the speed of the alpha particle is about 10% of light speed. Again, compared to beta particles or gamma rays, fairly slow. We need to look at the ionizing effect. And the ionizing effect of alpha particles is very strong. We can ask how far do they penetrate into material. And in this case they can be stopped by your skin. So they won't penetrate skin or a thick piece of paper, a thick paper. Or indeed about, so let's say, 10 centimeters there. So they're not going very far, as you can see. Now they're positively charged, so this means that if they go through a magnetic field or an electric field, they will be deflected. by an electric or magnetic field. 
here we have two magnets and the blue lines show the magnetic fields of course going from north uh, the north pole of one magnet to the south pole of the other and let's imagine that we shoot a alpha particle towards this magnetic field and using the rule that we've learnt before we can see that the alpha particle will be deflected downwards and quite a lot because it's got quite a good mass in there so it's going to be deflected quite a lot downwards so as you can see we can deflect alpha particles relatively easy with a magnetic or electric field let's take a look at a, an example of uh, alpha decay so an example and this would be for example with an element radon and the isotope radon 220 so basically we have radon which is Rn so radon has a mass number of 220 and the atomic number of 86 and when it undergoes alpha decay this is radioactive decay it gives off an alpha particle which we know is He with a mass number of 4 atomic number of 2 plus polonium and this is an isotope of polonium it's polonium 216 so it's got a mass number of 216 and a atomic number of 84 as you can see 220 from the radon minus the 4 from the alpha particle 216 for the mass number and the same simple calculation to get the atomic number um, this will be called polonium Two sixteen, and of course it's an isotope of the element polonium. Now polonium, in the periodic table, has a mass number of two hundred and ten, and of course it must have the same atomic number. It's the same element, so it's got eighty-four protons. So that's a quick look at the alpha particle. Thank you.